Okay, so I wanted to film a monthly favorites for the month of October. So for my monthly favorites, which I want to try doing every month, I don't wanna just talk about makeup products or a certain just genre of things. I wanna talk about all kinds of stuff, like my favorite thing I did this month, favorite food, favorite hygiene product, Favorite anything, favorite song, it doesn't even matter. Favorite mood, like anything. I have a bunch of different things that I have loved doing or eating or smelling or wearing for the month of October. So I hope you guys enjoy this. So the first thing is my favorite show this month has been The Fosters. I am on season four. I have watched the three seasons prior and I just found out season four and season five or actually on Netflix, so I have been crazy watching that. I absolutely love The Fosters. If you guys have never seen it, it's about a lesbian couple who has a child and they adopted four children. I relate to this, one, because I am a lesbian, and two, I was in and out of foster care my whole life, so I relate to the whole scenario. There's a lot of drama, and I love me some drama on some shows. So the next thing is I have been loving this lotion this month. I know it's not a fall scent, but I love it. It's the Pretty as a Peach body lotion, shea butter. It is great and it smells just like a peach. Okay, so my next favorite, which is gonna be kind of weird because I feel here is gonna be a little bit confused, but in this notebook, <laughs> This is called a slam book. I don't know if I've talked about this in vlogs in the past or not, but I've been doing this since I was a little girl. It's something my mom actually introduced to me. So I have been doing it ever since I could know how to write words on paper. So what it is, is <laughs> on every single page there is a question. And since I am 26, the questions range from super, super personal to serious and extreme to things like what's your favorite freaking movie. I have friends fill it out and it's something that I can just look back at a couple years from now and be like, oh, I could just look back and be like, oh, I remember that one time when my friend did this or said this or I don't really know how to explain it very well. If any of you are watching this who are my friends, you know what I am talking about because I currently have about 20 people filling this out. It's super fun and it keeps me preoccupied. So my next favorite is this pumpkin. I'm sure you guys have noticed it and I actually did this myself. This is probably one of my most favorite things that I did this month besides going to the pumpkin patch. But yeah, I made this pumpkin. All I did was color it white and colored his face. I really love Jack. Jack is my boy. Hey, what's up? I will be keeping him until he rots and when Christmas comes along, I will be adding a little Christmas hat on top of his head because, yeah. So my next thing, which is probably my overall most favorite thing, but not the last thing I'm gonna show you guys, but it is Younger Now by Miley Cyrus, which is her album. I adore Miley Cyrus and all her songs on this album are incredible. I have the whole album on my Spotify, obviously, but I also have the physical album, which I don't have with me because it's actually in my girlfriend's car right now because we were jamming out to that. Y'all get it, y'all get it, she fucking amazing. So my next favorite is, this is something I used to eat a lot, but I stopped and now I'm eating it again. It is the Morning Star Veggie Patties, the Buffalo Chicken Patties, they're great. Obviously you can eat them on a bun, eat them like as a sandwich, cut them up, put them in a salad. I usually just eat it plain because it's that great and that flavorful. This is vegetarian, if you guys are wondering. The next thing is this book, The Mountain Between Us. I actually read all this in two days. Becky is currently reading it for the fourth time. That's why there's a little bookmark in there. We also went and saw the movie. Kate Winslet is in it. 
and Idris Elba, of course. All you girls, you love Idris Elba. I know. It was a great book, great movie, even though the book and the movie were completely different from one another, I still truly enjoyed it. This month, my favorite perfume is this little itty bitty baby one. This is actually a perfume by Jessica Simpson and it's called Fancy Love and it smells like it's a million bucks. I recommend you guys going to Kohl's or anywhere that sells perfume. Try to find this, smell it for yourself and I know you'll wanna buy it. It smells great, like, Thank you. Put it back where it belongs with its other family of perfume. Another favorite, I feel like I've been saying another favorite like 10,000 times, is soup. Whether it be homemade soup or Progresso, I have been doing homemade soup again, which I used to do a lot, and you guys know that because I would film videos of me making the homemade soup. I feel like my homemade soups have become a bit more healthier, so I'm super excited about that. But my favorite Progresso soup is the Italian style wedding. It has meatballs, carrots, and spinach, and chicken broth. Super, super delicious for if you're busy, which I'm not really always busy. If you're lazy, <laughs> me. Or if you just want a damn Progresso soup, like I recommend this one so much. It's 120 calories per one serving, and there is two servings in this. So it's only 240 calories for the whole can. It's actually a lot of soup, filling, and super, super tasty. Next is a wax melt. This wax melt is actually from Bath & Body Works in the fragrance Leaves. If I could ever recommend something that is fall related, that smells like you just want to maybe sit inside of the wax melt as it's melted and imagine you're in a hot tub, I would say get this smell this this is amazing <sighs> if the outside leaves actually really smell like this i think we'd all live outside so this one i don't have anything physical but one of my favorite youtubers which i wanted to talk about this month is dun 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 shannon rose <laughs> I used to watch her a lot about a year ago and then I stopped. I really don't know why. And then I started catching up with her this month and she went through so much stuff between being pregnant with twins that she couldn't have anymore, going through in and out of surgeries. She is so strong. I don't think I've ever seen such a stronger person. Like she still has a smile on her face and still is trucking through this. And her and her husband just got a new brand new house and she has been vlogging almost daily. And I have been loving every minute of her. I think she has such a kind, kind soul and she's super fun to watch. I just love her. So you guys definitely need to watch Shannon Rose. I'm talking about her vlogging channel, but she also has a main channel and a beauty channel. So the last thing on my list is It. I did watch the new It before I read the book, which mm, I actually have not finished the book. Um, I am only on page 165. I kind of haven't read it in like, two weeks or so whoops and king is so descriptive like half of this book is description but it's still a great great book so i hope you guys enjoyed my favorites video me and my boy uh jack here are gonna go hang out eat some candy corn maybe watch hocus pocus wish we were going out for halloween but we're not but at least we got each other i'll see you guys in my next video bye